Good morning, everybody. And my name is Jae Hui Yeom, president of Korea University. Uh, it is uh, somewhat impolite uh, to ask uh, uh, President Lin to change the schedule <laughs> because I have a very urgent meeting this evening, so I have to fly. Uh, I have to go back, go to airport yeah, by 11:45. So it is much safer for me <laughs> to just yeah, speak first. Okay. Uh, it is my honor and uh, pleasure to present uh, and share Korea University's uh, just a vision and plan, uh, especially based on the institutional context uh, of Korean education. It is a very unique uh, just a situation in Korean uh, case. Uh, as I just uh, studied at Stanford University, my a uh, topic of my PhD was the institutional approach to the Japanese industrial policy at the time, uh, 1980s, so the government business relations. And as you know, the institutional context is well known uh, by the quality problem, and if it is yeah, very uh, path-dependent order, so if, if it is well uh, just settled, then it is very difficult to change and the Korean education system is very uh, similar on that kind of uh, problem. Okay, let me start uh, with uh, uh, some of the institutional factors, context of Korean universities. Uh, Korea, we are very eager to send our children to universities. So you can just see the numbers of the students. Around 1960s, only 6% entered the colleges, but now it's number one in OECD countries, more than 70% entered the colleges. So the total number, including undergraduate and graduate altogether, 3 million and 600,000 students are studying in universities. And the numbers of the uh, universities and colleges are increasing very rapidly. Now we have more than uh, 433 universities and colleges in Korea. But the problem is, uh, the, as I said before, 1980s, when I graduated my, uh, the college, my university in 1978, at that time around 10% of the students of the population entered the colleges, but now more than 70%. World average is 32%. So it is yeah, quite fever to send their children to uh, just a higher education. You know the reason why? It is the only way to just a, yeah, transfer from the mobility, social mobility of the upper yeah, social class uh, by way of yeah, higher education. But the problem is, uh, as I said before, the entering student freshman year, the number of the 2000 15, last year, altogether, let's go back, that is including undergraduate and graduate. The freshman numbers are 560,000 students are entering as a freshman uh, last year. But within eight years, because of the low birth rate, and you can just see the stagnation of the numbers of the entrance since started in yeah, 2008, it is decreasing very rapidly. So, 2023, eight years later, the numbers that can enter the colleges and universities are very rapidly dropped down around 400,000. 160,000 students are gone. So it is a very serious problem for the financial crisis for the just like a local universities and the, a little bit low class universities. Uh, the, the, uh, the registration is dropped very rapidly around less than 50% in these days. So, it is, uh, now it is a pressure from the Ministry of Education, even uh, just a career university, just like a prestigious university, you should decrease the number of the entrance yeah, students because it is tightly controlled by the Ministry of Education. I just said it is the institutional legacy of the long tradition of the Japanese colonial period. So uh, the education is a very serious matter to control the society. So it is a long historical yeah, institutional factor. Uh, 
Okay. So, and also another one is that uh, tuition, uh, the, just like uh, tuition is controlled by the Ministry of Education, it is very rare because in Korea, 85% of our universities are private. Only the 15% are public and national. They are supported by the government, but we don't receive any money as a, just a regular subsidy from the government. And, uh, but still, they control the tuition level. So now you, you can see that it's roughly around the national university, they, they receive around 4,000 US dollars per year. Private university will receive around 7,000 US dollars per year. But it, it is interesting, in, in the worldwide, only the private university prosper is that the United States, Japan, and Korea. All the other countries, most of the universities are subsidized by the national yeah, government. It is a public investment. It is a, a national resources. So they just invest the money. But in Korea, 85% of universities are private. So we just pay the money and then we just make it yeah, bigger and bigger. So, uh, but, uh, but still, they feel that it is a sort of a very, uh, just a luxurious university means that the bourgeois class entered the university. It's a long historical legacy, just like we just lift up the, our special, special, uh, yeah, luxurious tax. Uh, even probably around 20 years ago, the sugar, we had a tax for that kind of luxurious item, and then we just yeah, abolished that yeah, until the 20 years ago. So it is uh, this kind of situation, they just tightly controlled uh, the tuition. <clears throat> and also another regulation is enrollment regulation, entrance quota, and uh, my university, we have a tightly uh, just controlled by the ministry, our freshmen, just the uh, numbers of the freshman entrance, it is, it is tightly controlled by the government. So it is very difficult to just uh, switch our numbers from one department to another department because the department professor think that it is their stock, their asset. And the uh, present is very difficult to just to change the numbers of the students from one department to another. And also we have uh, undergraduate is just like uh, yeah, considered as a major oriented one. Poli sci, we have just like uh, 72 students for the freshmen and there's no change at all. Yeah, just like that kind of things. And uh, we try to make it a dual degree, I mean the double major or something like that, that is fine. But changing the numbers of the yeah, major from one to another is very difficult. Administrative regulation, we have to have the attendance yeah, just to check. So I just lift it up and uh, I just make it three no policies yesterday, uh, the last year. That is, uh, Korea University professor don't uh, have to check the, just the uh, attendance. Uh, it is fine because it is uh, the professor's yeah, sort of dignity. Yeah, you just uh, come to my class, if my lecture is good, that's fine. And just to check it and the minus the, if you just don't attend minus the, just the yeah, uh, grade, it is uh, sort of uh, disgraceful for the yeah, professor. And also the, uh, we have the uh, comparative evaluation uh, of the, for example, A should be 20% and B should be 30%. So I just yeah, abolish that kind of thing because it is a right of the professor. And third one is, is Stanford yeah, legacy and the professors, uh, you don't need to enter the test yeah, classes. Yeah, just uh, assign the honor, uh, just a uh, blue book, and then that's fine. So the Ministry of Education dislike this kind of <laughs> policy, but anyway, Korea University is a relatively prestigious university. I just yeah, stand uh, very firmly and tightly against the Ministry of Education. That is a new yeah, change. And also that the government controlled the admission policies. 
uh, we cannot rank the high schools. High schools should be equal in Korean standard because the Ministry of Education controls the high school. So we cannot rank the DDS A, DDS B. We cannot do that. And uh, uh, administering individual entrance examination is banned. And when I entered the college in 1973, uh, Korea University has a unique Korea University entrance examination, but it is banned uh, because government controlled just like SAT, and uh, you just got the, just a score, and then apply for Seoul National or Korea, and then based on the, the scores, you just cut it, uh, and that's it. So because of the fair competition, or yeah, just like uh, because of the parents are speaking out if it is uh, just a subjective yeah, evaluation, and uh, there's some kind of unfair or unequal uh, treatment of their children, so it is, uh, it is banned by the Ministry of uh, Education. And also, we cannot count on the donation or the contribution, uh, just like uh, alumni contributed a lot, but we cannot count on it. Even sometimes, Ministry of Education asked us to submit the uh, list of the donor donors, and then they just uh, check it, uh, just uh, a yeah, freshman admission, yeah, uh, student's name, and check it, cross-check whether their families are linked together or something like that. Yeah, it is a very strange situation. But anyway, this kind of institutional context, we have to change our system. For example, the reason is, this, we just call it the Sky Club, uh, the Sky, Sky University, Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University, top three universities, Sky, very prestigious university. They control the whole Korean society. Uh, so, many parents want to send their children, uh, just like uh, extracurricular, starting from the kindergarten, and just a, uh, take English classes or something like that to send the Sky uh, Universities. For example, almost 50% of the senior government officers are from their universities. 36% of the congressmen and women. Uh, this year we had a general election and my university alone, 15% uh, of the congressmen uh, were from my university in the bachelor degree or master degrees. Uh, and also the 62% yeah, of CEOs, and especially Korea University is very uh, proud of, there are so many, just like uh, SK Group and Hyundai Automobile Groups and many groups, sort of uh, owners and CEOs are the yeah, Korea University graduates. So that is the reason why the parents send their children to the yeah, university. Yeah, you know that uh, uh, Manchus Yamada, yeah, she tried to just uh, yeah, uh, change their yeah, just, uh, houses uh, three different ways. When it is in the marketplace, oh, it is too much just uh, yeah, uh, good for the education, and they're finally near the scholars' yeah, schools and something like that. Yeah, we have these kind of things. They just uh, gave it up, everything. So the, the serious problem and social problem in Korea is not the uh, uh, public and official uh, expenditure of education, it is, yeah, it is okay, no problem. But uh, private lessons are very serious. Probably when they enter the Korea University, even though my tuition is 7,000 US dollars per year, but they spend the senior years of the high school in the private lessons three times and four times for the private lesson to send their children to Korea University. It is a very serious problem. So sometimes the youngsters, they spend up to half of their salaries you know, for the students' ed extracurricular education, private lessons. So it is a very serious problem. So the, they don't want to be married. They don't have their children and the, because of the serious problems of the education cost. We have a very standardized test, just like this and the road memorization, only the test the memory of the explicit knowledge, not the 
it's just a yeah, implicit knowledge, very, very standardized and specialized knowledge. So, for example, they work very hard, long study hours. For example, when I was in uh, high school, there's a, a joke, if we sleep more than uh, just five hours a day, and you can enter yeah, Sky University. But if you sleep more than yeah, six hours, you will fail. So it is very, it's so uh, learning is not a curiosity or something like that, but it is a labor. So when they enter the colleges, they just forget about the study. <laughs> Only up to the entrance examination. So it is a very serious problem. Road memorization. Extracurricular fever. It means that uh, during the high school, yeah, daytime, they just sleep. And the high school the teachers don't teach too much. We are not uh, just like uh, entrance examination preparatory uh, places. And uh, yeah, yeah, you can just uh, sleep during the day and go to private school in the, yeah, in the evening. So, but the problem is that uh, after the graduation, there's a serious problems of the youngsters' yeah, unemployment rate. Big companies don't need to recruit yeah, university graduate, except some yeah, majors. So, uh, the, the unemployment, unemployment rate is yeah, increasing very rapidly. So, as you know, the, the first industrial revolution means that uh, 20th century is a mass education and mass manufacturing system. So the specialized major is very important. They just take part in the very specific knowledge and that's enough. But in the 21st century, uh, many of that kind of, yeah, the manufacturing system goes to the computer or robotics or that kind of thing. So we need to develop our own uh, professional skills and our own ideas or something like that. So the employment era is gone in the 21st century. So for example, just like Google or some other, yeah, uh, just the big companies, they will combine the small companies together and develop some kind of new product instead of the long line, the specialized yeah, combination of the in-house, uh, just the yeah, big companies. So, for example, Alvin Toffler already mentioned that uh, we need a diversification, not the standardized uh, just a, yeah, yeah, education. And also the Samsung Group's chairman, Lee Goni, also mentioned that uh, the current education system, which only allows uniform standards, so we need reform if Korea is nurture our R&D capacity and talent. So even Samsung Electronics, uh, my friend, yeah, a number of Stanford PhD in double E major, they become uh, a vice chairman of the Samsung Electronics and they just control the Samsung Electronics. But he just a yeah, friend of mine mentioned that uh, they don't want Sky students or Kai students because they simply answer the right answer, and, but in Samsung, at the moment, we need to take risks, but they don't want to take risks. So it is a very serious problem. They don't want the Sky or KAIST students anymore. So I just uh, uh, proposed a pioneering intellectual to raise the pioneering intellectual when I just uh, started my position last year. The reason is because of my institutional legacy of the Stanford education and my just a uh, <clears throat> PhD topic is the, uh, at that time, 1980s, just the uh, Japanese industrial policy was boom, so my specialty is Japanese industrial policy by high technology. The uh, natural relations between government and business is my uh, major theme of uh, my PhD uh, dissertation. So, uh, but at that time, uh, the, my, my just the topic goes to, went to the uh, computer industry and semiconductor industry. So the Silicon Valley was model for me to analyze that kind of thing. So the Silicon Valley, the 49ers spirit and the gold rush spirit, pioneering spirit is very important. They're still uh, alive in the Silicon Valley. So <clears throat> I just introduced Silicon Valley spirit 
to my university, so we have to change our total system. Not simply lecturing our, yeah, just the, to the students is not enough in the 21st century. We need to change action learning or project-based or discussion sessions that is more needed in the 21st century. For example, just like uh, uh, Oxford and Cambridge University, they still keep uh, just like a tutorial system. It is more important than the mass education and lecturing. So I, I try to change it, but it needs a lot of money, so it is a very serious problem for me. But anyway, uh, we just yeah, raise funds in these days so we can just make it. The, in the 21st century, design thinking and creative ideas are very important rather than the well uh, just uh, equipped with uh, explicit knowledge is not enough. The, that kind of knowledge, uh, many knowledges in the, just the engineering schools, uh, it, the, the, the utility of the knowledge will gone within seven years or ten years, half of that. So the, we need to just catch up with the new ideas and new knowledge or something like that. Okay, yeah, but interestingly enough, but even this kind of a very tight uh, institutional uh, limitation, uh, Korea University is just uh, doing very well, relatively. Out of the 4,300 QS uh, University evaluation, we ranked uh, this year 98th and we are number one in the private university in Korea. So I just, when I just met the present park, I just mentioned that uh, even though you government don't invest any money and don't give any money to the private university and our tuition level is too low, then we achieve 98th. We just surpassed the USC or Minnesota University. So I just mentioned that it is a miracle. Do you know the reason why? Because of the very high motivation of the Korean students who pay or just uh, uh, go to the United States just like me and get a PhD and then return to Korea to be a professor. So for example, my mechanical engineering department out of the yeah, 30 faculty members, uh, one third, yeah, 30 percent are MIT PhD one fourth a Stanford PhD. Most of them have some experience in teaching in the United States or Singapore or Hong Kong. So because of the high quality of faculties, we have achieved this kind of things. Regional, we are number 16. We are number one in the Korean private universities. And the Shanghai ranking is also, it is only for the yeah, science and engineering department, but we rank that 56 yeah, in the world or something like that. So, uh, I like to change our system. The first one to change Korea university system, I started 10 years ago as a, a vice president and we just trained the globalization is our goal. So, for example, we've already had uh, this kind of, yeah, I just yeah, modeled the Stanford Center at Peking University. We invest some money to the Runmin University and we have around 700 square meters of the office spaces of the second floor and we opened the Korea University Global Center in Beijing uh, two years ago. And also, we opened uh, a number of, even the Silicon Valley, we opened last year, I just opened the Korea University offices in Silicon Valley. And we're going to open the Washington, D.C. Uh, thanks to the help of the George Washington University, we will open the, uh, the center. And then we send our students to work as an internship during the summer or something like that. And also, I start the Korea University in Latin America project. We need to yeah, increase the number of the yeah, foreign students. So we are planning to recruit 500 students from Latin America. So I visited a number of yeah, places uh, to make some kind of uh, uh, agreement, just like uh, Havana University in Cuba last summer. And uh, thanks to this kind of uh, Korean education system, in Mexico, I met when I just explained the Korean University entrance or Korean University uh, just the introduction. And the f for three different cities, 4,000 
Mexican students and parents yeah, just gathered and we just yeah, explained the Korea University. And because I'm running out of time and ex exploring, 80% uh, of our faculty members are PhDs in the United States. So we need to just uh, switch our vision to another area. So I started the uh, Nordic and Benelux universities yeah, consortium uh, from this year. And just like the Nordic, uh, seven or eight uh, just the universities and also the East Asia, Korea University in Korea and uh, Runmin and Fudan in China and uh, Waseda and Tsukuba in Japan. We just uh, yeah, made a consortium. And this, uh, that next year we will have the consortium in Runmin University. And as I said before, Global Center, just a Royal Holloway invested one million uh, pounds uh, when they just built uh, foreign faculty and the student yeah, dormitory. We just uh, donate the money and then we just yeah, used the 32 unit of the yeah, rooms. And this kind of a joint uh, investment is very popular, just like uh, uh, University of British Columbia. Uh, we sent 100 students because we, uh, 12 years ago, we invested more than 1 million yeah, Canadian dollars to build the dormitory at that time. And also, we are planning to develop this kind of a, a, this school in at Stanford and model the MI, MIT Media Lab or Minerva schools or something like that. So it is a model, uh, the flagship, yeah, college around 150 students and then uh, the total system is quite different only the project based and the flipped class or that kind of things okay and we also developed the dual degree program thanks to the this is only a yeah, benefit from the government and the finally korean ministry of education allow us uh, passed a law and if uh, just the uh, foreign students uh, take their courses in their home institution three years and then if we accept and recognize that uh, grace and then uh, they, as an exchange students they just uh, take the courses from my university for one year then we can provide the uh, uh, Korean University yeah, a degree as well. And this one is a unique one. It, it was yeah, open uh, last September. Uh, because as in Silicon Valley, just like uh, Steve Jobs, he started his yeah, uh, Apple company from the garage. But in Korea, we don't have yeah, many garages. So I just yeah, stacked up the container boxes. It is yeah, travel around various places more than hundreds of times. It is very symbolic. So I just put a very nice, yeah, and then it is a studio. And students can discuss and talk and everything. Not uh, the start of companies and just to simply the bring up the ideas. So the motto of that uh, pioneer village is that means the pie wheel. And pie means the sort of limitless, yeah, just a symbol of it in, in mathematics. So it is open to anyone for the faculty members and students. So the motto of that uh, village is that uh, Einstein, I just borrowed the motto, and his uh, just a saying is that imagination is more important than knowledge. So simply transferring the tech, just the knowledge is not enough for the functions of the university. We need to just uh, create knowledge and produce knowledge more important so the students can participate in this kind of yeah, action. And uh, this one is, will be newly built yeah, thanks to the SK group, the number three or four yeah, Korean group and they donate the money. Uh, so uh, around, all together around yeah, uh, 50 million US dollars and then we just construct this building. But this is the first building. It, the, the building doesn't have any classroom and lecture room. And uh, more than 100 uh, discussion rooms just like uh, Google yeah, campuses or something and also 100 cars and uh, uh, just like a cafe or something like that. And another one is that the science park, we just built the uh, underground is the parking spaces and the, the first floor is the, yeah, this kind of building. I'm sorry I'm running out of time and uh, uh, this is new one. And I also changed the yeah, scholarships 
And in Korea, main scholarship is based on the merit base. That they just get a good grade and they receive the scholarship. But I just change it. And uh, only the need base, uh, I just provide a scholarship. Uh, and also, uh, I just uh, yeah, collect the money from the uh, just the merit based scholarship and I just uh, utilize it to send the students to Costa Rica and China and they just take the eight weeks intensive Chinese courses, intensive uh, Spanish courses in Costa Rica, or the humanities students can take the software programming during winter vacation or summer vacation. I just provide a scholarship. That I just change a program-based scholarship. And also I'd like to send my students and professors to outward, so I just change the course. For example, in Korea, at the outset, I just tried to change just like a Stanford quarter system, but it is a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, lot of yeah, opposition from the professors. So I just make it three hours per week for 16 weeks is a regular time, regular just a coursework. If they just yeah, teach and make uh, the project groups, uh, for example, six hours per week, uh, they can just the. Yeah, complete the courses within eight weeks. So then, after that, they just go outside in the foreign countries. Okay, and also flipped class, and the lecture is taken through the online-based or big, big classes, and then in class, we just have yeah, discussion and project-based one. Okay, this is my summary. We like to change uh, it is a, we need a big change, but there are a lot of institutional limitations and regulations, but try to change the softwares and hardwares, we will just make a different yeah, university. Thank you very much for your attention.